This is the west side entrance of the Sayada Trail into North Bank Park. It passes under an active railroad bridge and heads southeast with the Sayada River. You will see the trail signage approaching to the right as well as the adjacent Sayada River. To the left are the grassy fields of North Bank Park and city development not too far in the distance. We will be exploring this area later on in the video. The park has crosswalks that link the Sayada Trail to and from the two streets running through the park. Long Street, which runs closer to the riverside, and then Spring Street. These streets act as a buffer to the Arena District. Currently, we are heading east toward North Bank Park's pavilion the building hiding behind the large stone wall ahead. Jutting from the west side of the pavilion and up the park slope, a large seated space is provided. Below the pavilion is a piece of the side of trail where people are often seen leisurely enjoying shaded seating. This space is conveniently located beside the trail for multimodal users and other park visitors. As we turn the corner, people commonly sit on the sloped lawn beside the pavilion or take a walk up the stairs to see the pavilion's fountain or attend an event inside the building. If we veered right along the path, we would pass under another railway, the eastern perimeter of the park. Instead, we loop around and head west along North Bank Park's Long Street. To the left, wrapped with a limestone wall, is the park's pavilion. Exposed columns, metal trusses, and brick siding identifies with the area's 19th century industrial era that once was beside the riverbank. The pavilion's large glass panels face the foot of Neal Avenue and stands as a focal point for pedestrians and drivers who can see through it or conceptually partake as an audience to events that often frequent the space. Across from the park's median and bordering Spring Street is the neighboring Arena District. Mixed with residential and commercial development, North Bank Park hosts locals, employees, and an influx of people who come visit the area for entertainment. To the left, a pathway slopes down along the park surface toward the waterfront. The mild surface decline allows an audience to sit and watch waterfront activities. Columbus's Independence Day Festival, known as Red, White, and Boom, features a large fireworks display here, one of the best sites in the city for it. The approaching knoll is an interesting park feature. It offers such a great spread of the west side skyline, but neglected of use as a result of its peripheral location. For more information, please check back with the North Bank Park Public Art Project website.